Welcome to the Paranormal Deep Dive from Real Ghost Stories Online and the Grave Talks. All right. So um, today we're diving into a case that, well, it really has it all. Mm. A family terrorized a really old house, you know, with like a shadowy past. And even Ed and Lorraine Warren get involved. Oh, wow. Yeah. We're going to Rhode Island <laughs> to that infamous conjuring house. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I know you love getting to the bottom of things, separating fact from fiction. Right. And while the movies, yeah, they're fun, right? We're really focused on the actual stuff that happened to the Perone family. Okay. So just picture this. 1971, the Perone family. Roger, Janet, and their five daughters. They're starting over in this big farmhouse. Okay. Coming from a really rural life. Mm -hmm. Hoping for something new. Yeah. A place to, you know, make memories and all that. Right. You can almost feel the optimism. It's that hopefulness that makes everything that happens so much worse. You know, it's like setting the stage yeah, for a nightmare. Exactly. And like always with hauntings, it starts subtly. Mm. So they're settling in. Right. Then boom, footsteps. Oh, wow. In the attic. In the attic. Young April especially. Really? Yeah. Doors slam and shut. Nobody there. Oh, gosh. That feeling of being watched. Oh, I hate that. I know. Yeah. I bet even one of those things would have us sleeping with the lights on. Oh, for sure. For sure. How did they react at first? It's interesting, isn't it? Our, our minds are really good at explaining away the unknown. Right. The beginning, they kind of just said, oh, it's an old house, settling, old pipes, whatever. Right. Like, it was nothing. But deep down, yeah. that unease has to be there. For sure. We'll get to it. But Janet, the mom. Yeah. She's the one who experiences the real terror here. Oh, no. But you mentioned that feeling of being watched. Yeah. It's like in every story. Right. What is that? Right. Is it all in your head or is there something more? It's a great question. I mean, some people think it's like this primal instinct. Okay. You know, our ancestors had to watch out for predators and stuff. Right. But then there are others that say maybe it is something else, you know? Yeah. Sensing us in a way we don't get. It's a scary thought. Yeah. But we know it didn't stay subtle like that with the Perons. No. How do things get worse? Well, this is where Janet's experiences get really scary. Yep. It's not just noises anymore. Yep. She starts having nightmares, waking up scared. And then it gets worse. Imagine looking in the mirror. Yeah. And there's something else there. Oh, God. An apparition, a figure shouldn't be there. It's like in a horror movie. Right. But this was real for them. Exactly. Those mirror experiences are creepy. Yeah. Why mirrors? Why are they always in these stories? They've always been mysterious, haven't they? Oh, right. Portals to our reflections. Yeah. But some cultures see them as like gateways. Oh, wow. Some paranormal researchers say that whatever energy is in a place, it goes to mirrors. Ah. And we see that. Wow. So it's more than just a reflection. Right. So yeah. this is where Roger, he's practical, right? Yeah. He's got to do something. Okay. Can you tell us about Roger trying to debunk this stuff? Yeah. I mean, how can you stay skeptical with all this going on? You're right. It takes a certain kind of person. He was a Marine. Oh, wow. Not into the woo-woo stuff. He had to find a real explanation. Okay. So he's searching the house top to bottom. Yeah. Was there anything? Leaky pipe, faulty wiring, anything. He looked everywhere. Nothing, no drafts, no cracks, nothing. It was like the house didn't want to be explained. And then on top of all of this, they find something. Right. And it's like something yeah. out of a creepy book. What is it? What changes everything? So picture this. Janet, she's drawn to this. Well, she finds it. A hidden staircase in the attic. Oh, no way. This isn't just any staircase. It's old, creaky. Like it was hidden on purpose. Okay. I'm getting chills. A ah. hidden staircase. Where did it go? This staircase, it went to a tiny little room covered in dust. It was like a time capsule. Okay. And what they found, well, it's going to blow your mind. What is it? Give me the details. Okay. So in this room, they find all this stuff. Old dolls, photos, stuff like that. Okay. But get this. None of it belonged to them. Okay. We're back. And wow, that is a cliffhanger. A secret room. Mm. And it's full of stuff. That doesn't belong to them. It's like the house is talking, you know? Right. But in a language we don't get. Yeah. And this is where it gets really interesting. It's not just about what the Perons are going through anymore. Right. It's connecting it to the house. Yeah. Those objects, they're like clues. So who do they belong to? Right. What does it mean for the Perons and all the creepy stuff happening? Well, that's what they wanted to know. And so they called in. Well, the biggest names out there, Ed and Lorraine Warren. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> you can't talk about this house without talking about them. 
For those who don't know, who were they? So the Warrens, they were really famous for investigating paranormal stuff, like all over. Right. Lorraine, she said she was clairvoyant, a medium. Okay. And Ed, he was a demonologist. Oh, wow. They used all sorts of methods. Okay. Psychic stuff, research, you name it. Wow. What was it like when they got to the house? Well, they said right away they could feel it, the energy. Like, it was a magnet for spirits, you know? It's like one of their movies, but real. Right. What did they do? Did they look into the stuff from the attic? They were thorough. I'll give them that. They talked to the Pirans forever, writing everything down, right. especially about those objects. They thought those were key. What if the objects were like, I don't know, bridges or something <laughs> right. between us and, you know... Exactly. The Warrens would say that. They believed objects could hold energy. Emotions, all that. Even consciousness. And this house, it had a lot of that, didn't it? This is where the history comes in, remember? Edwin? Yeah, Roger's grandfather. Yeah, the one who lived there before. What'd they find out about him? So it turns out his story, it's just one part of this whole messed up history of this property they found out about all these awful things what kind of thing like people dying mysteriously families falling apart even like a witch's curse Wait, way back a witch's curse <laughs> seriously i know right even if you don't believe it that's got to mess with your head oh for sure it's like this primal fear right that some things never go away like a stain you can't get out exactly and for the warrens this was it so what did they think the connection was mm. between the past and what was happening now they said the house was like a hotel for lost souls, you know? Yeah. Drawn there by all the bad stuff. And get this. They said the spirits were like feeding off the family's fear. Oh, no way. Yeah. The more scared they got, the stronger the spirits got. So the history, it wasn't just in the past. It was alive. That's what they thought. Pretty scary if you ask me. Imagine all the unseen stuff that might be around us, you know? Okay, that's a thought. But what do you do? They have this house full of, you know, and the Warrens with their, well, everything they do. What did they try? So they have this house, right? Full of whatever it is. And then the Warrens show up with, well, their methods. What they actually do? Well, they were known for like cleaning yeah. these places they thought were haunted, you know? And this house, they definitely thought it needed a like spiritual cleaning or something. Okay. So what was that? Like burning sage? Or more intense? Oh, it was way more than that. The Warrens, they used all sorts of stuff. Like what? Religious things, prayers, even trying to talk to the, you know. The spirits. Yeah. Wow, that's intense. What did the parents think about all that? Well, they were Catholic, so right. it probably made sense to them. They wanted it gone. But even then, from what I've heard, it was a lot. Yeah, I bet. But did it work? That's the thing, isn't it? Nobody really knows. So the Warrens thought it helped. But some things just don't go away. Exactly. Especially with a place in its history. So even after all that, they're still living with this. Right. How long did they even stay there after? It's surprising they actually stayed for a while. They loved the place. And maybe they thought, I don't know, maybe things would be okay. That hope, Matt. Yeah, but it didn't last. Remember what we said about fear giving those things power? Yeah. That's a big part of why they left in the end. How so? I mean, they'd been through so much already. Think about it. Every little sound, every shadow, it's terrifying, you know? Right. It really got to Janet. She was at the center of it all. It's like there's only so much you can take. Exactly. So they had to leave for their own good and for the kids especially. So that was it? They moved out? They did. They moved in with some family to get away from the house. Wow. And they never went back. It's not clear if the, you know, whatever it was followed them. But that experience, it had to change them. For sure. And the house, it's still there. No way. Yeah, in Rhode Island. People have lived there since, but the stories, they never really stopped. I bet. It's like the most famous haunted house ever. Mm. When the movies came out. Right. But it's the Perun story that gets you. Absolutely. It makes you wonder, you know, sometimes the scariest stuff, it's not just in stories. The Conjuring House. It reminds us that some things, we just can't explain them. And when you hear these stories, don't just ask yourself, do I believe it? Yeah. Ask, what if? What if there's more to it than we know? It's a good question. And for some people, like the Perons, they find out the hard way. Well, thanks for coming on this deep dive with me. Anytime. And to everyone listening, keep looking into things. Keep asking questions. But, you know, be yeah. careful out there. Want to dig deeper in the paranormal deep dive? Press subscribe now wherever you download podcasts and catch brand new paranormal deep dives every single day from Real Ghost Stories Online and the Grave Talks podcast.